Will County was founded in the Illinois Prairie at the crossroads of several rivers. In the early days, fur traders recognized the advantage of travel from the Great Lakes to the Mississippi River and on to the Gulf of Mexico. Over the decades, the Will County economy has been steered by coal mining, limestone quarrying, and manufacturing. Farming continues to be an important commodity in much of eastern Will County. Today, Will County continues to grow and flourish with a wide variety of economic development. With our crossroads location, affordable housing, and excellent schools, it is no wonder why many families and businesses have chosen to call Will County home. Join us now as we explore another of the many facets of Will County at Work with your host, Will County Executive Larry Walsh. Hello and welcome to this edition of Will County at Work. I'm your host, Larry Walsh, and my guest today is Sheriff Mike Kelly. He will be giving us an inside look at the new public safety complex. Thank you so much, Mike. Uh, allowing us to come in and visit with you and, and see um, this, um, what this beautiful building looks like yeah. from, the, from the inside. Yeah. I get a lot of comments about the, what, what it looks from the outside. So uh, there's a lot of people that has dri driven by and, 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 and um, complimented that, uh, that what, what a beautiful building uh, it is. So with that, uh, uh, you know, let's uh, get right into uh, talk about uh, uh, what you inherited when you came here and the conditions uh, that um, caused us to have conversa conversation and the plans and the, laying out the plans of how we could get you uh, a, a new uh, facility such as this. Yeah. And, well, it's a funny. The funny story is, and when I got hired in 1988, the sheriff's department, and I came into the old Laraway station as a new new rookie out of street. I was like a kid in a candy store, you know. I'm, you know, <laughs> new hire, and that was awesome. But then over the years, as the department grew and the county grew, it it just it it went south quickly. Yeah. And uh, this is a a certainly a a. a Awesome welcome to the to the Will County Sheriff's Department uh, family here. This new facility, without a doubt. Well, the conditions. I mean, I, I made the statement in in many of my speeches uh, that I was ashamed that we had pe pe people personnel out there that um, that uh, working in those kind of conditions. I mean, the ventilators weren't. The air wasn't uh, good. No. Uh, Every time it rained, uh, you, got, you had to cover the computers and grab the buckets, uh, bucket brigade. brigade uh, yeah, that was that was almost every building. Yeah, I mean, yeah. a Laraway facility yeah. would have, we'd have to put sandbags up around the floor or the or the wall at the at the floor, uh, in a bad rain to keep water from seeping into the uh, our evidence section. Yeah, and get you know destroying evidence. The Eagle Building, which is went all across the street from yep. the courthouse. Right. Yeah. Uh, I remember bad rain there and, and water be leaking on desks and files and like you said, computer screens and stuff was constantly breaking down and having to be fixed and it was just like putting a band-aid on a on yeah. a, or something that needed fifty stitches, you know, yeah. it just it just wasn't working. So yeah, no, this this is a this is awesome facility without a doubt. And I think uh, I think just the next week maybe we're gonna start on the uh, Demolition of the old building. Yes, that's correct. Um, there and then obviously that's going to be a parking lot uh, mm -hmm. and added parking for the and, facility. And, yes, so yes. and then the the the, the SWAT yeah. building mm -hmm. is supposed yep. to be done next month sometime next, in, next April, month so, in April. So yeah, it's all coming around. It's all coming coming yep. through fruition. Yep, absolutely. And, and and Bob Contrell is getting his. Uh, the, Favorite building for his yeah. favorite uh, machines. Yeah, all of his toys, all of our toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a big toy house. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so, but uh, let's get back to business. And 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 um, uh, you're probably the first sheriff uh, in a long time that uh, has had all your 
divisions and, and, and um, personnel under one roof. That uh, what that what does that do for you as the sheriff? Well, how 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 does this make make your job easier and and and, and performance uh, and efficiency uh, yeah. stick out? So. And it, it, it yeah, the efficiency you speak of that it, it absolutely makes the department a lot more uh, efficient. It's we're a lot more cohesive. It saves us on a lot of time. And, and increases our communication amongst divisions. You know, you know, I, I, I had said when when Channel Seven was here and did that that tour. Yeah. If a detective needs to talk to somebody from our traffic division, all they have to do is go downstairs and talk to them. Yeah. If our detect uh, sergeant or lieutenant and in investigations needs to address a patrol uh, roll call, you know, and mm -hmm. say, hey, you know, this is what we're looking for. This is who we're looking for. We can. I mean, it's we're all right here under one roof. And it's it just, there's so many benefits to this office. There's so many benefits to the citizens of Will County that we protect and serve every day that, you know, to be able to all meet if we had to have a meeting in, you know, in the training division, if I had to have a departmental meeting for everybody, we have a, we have a space now where we, everyone can fit and I can address the whole department, every employee on the sheriff's department. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it, we have seen in what just over, the couple months we've been here, mm -hmm. the benefits mm -hmm. of all of us being able to communicate, being able to walk down a hallway to go see, you know, someone in payroll, to walk down the hallway downstairs to walk to somebody in traffic about it, you know, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's without a doubt, it, it, we've seen the benefits already and it's only been a couple months, yeah, I can't imagine, exactly, you know, exactly. over time, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and that was what the purpose was for, uh, Expending uh, thirty-three and a half million dollars. Yeah, absolutely, so, absolutely. I mean, so, and it's but uh, but at the end, the end of the day, that investment uh, uh, is going to bring back many many dividends uh, for um, uh, better uh, performance and and better uh, um, um, things for our citizens. Absolutely, without and, a doubt. Without yep. doubt. Yep. Without doubt. So. Um, what is um, what is uh, some of the uh, special specialty things here? Technology. Uh, um, uh, I want to talk about the evidence room and the Sally Port mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, and and uh, lay out some of the things that um, that uh, you've never had before, or uh, uh, or they weren't uh, up to speed. Right. So, well, well, yeah, maybe I'll bounce around here a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right, but, uh, right, right. Do you that. know, we have 165, approximately 165 cameras in this, security cameras in this facility. Wow. So you can't step foot in here or around here or outside this building without being on video. Okay. Which just adds a tremendous amount of security mm -hmm. to, this, to this building. Um, you talked about the Sally Port. Used to be when an, when a deputy, if he made an arrest or he picked up a suspect on a crime that he wanted to talk to, he'd have to pull in a parking lot of Laraway or down in the Eagle Building, get the person out of the car, out in the middle of public in front of everybody, you mm -hmm. know, which, which, which was a security issue to the deputies and the person that they were bringing in. Now, up goes the garage door, in pulls the car, down goes the garage door, everybody's secure. We don't have to worry about anybody approaching from outside. Yep. You know, the, the, the city's, any citizens or if, you know, the, the person's got a friend or a family member that's looking for them, our deputies don't have to now worry about confronting that person, yep. you know, and not, and then we're secure. Yep. It, everyone's, you know, the, every, like I said, the deputy and the uh, citizen or whoever we might have is, uh, is secure in that aspect. We got the uh, the LED lighting in this facility, which are all on motion detectors. So, if no one's in a room, the light goes off. We're not wasting energy, you know. We're not, you know, we're not mm -hmm. spending money on stuff that we don't need, you know. In, in an aspect like that, the LED saves us, uh, you know, it burns less electricity on the LED lights. Um, what else? I mean, the evidence the facility is absolutely one of the most crucial parts of this of this building. You know, as you know, we used to store evidence in four different locations yeah. within four yeah. different buildings within Will County. And not very secure not either. Not very securely. As you know, we were the victim of a burglary <laughs> yep, five, yep. six years ago. Yep, yep, and yep. Uh, so everything being under, and, and to see that with the electronic 
shelving and everything moves by the push of a button and we have you know where we store our evidence and our, and we have two bays in our evidence section with lifts so that when we have to process a car as evidence we pull it right in to a controlled temperature uh, garage we put it up on the lift we, you know our deputy our crime scene detectives can go through it with a fine tooth comb if they have to you know process it it used to be we'd park it in the garage it'd be next to three cars sitting there waiting to get an oil change you know what I mean? And here we'd have a vehicle taped off that we had to process. This is the, the you know, the evidence section is, I mean, everybody is going to see the benefits of this, all this evidence in, under one roof when it comes to prosecuting cases and securing all this evidence. And if you have to impound this car uh, or vehicle, uh, um, well, brand new yep. impoundment, uh, uh, yard out there yep. and, and, and security. It's all uh, secured, camera, uh, yep, cameras, everything. Yep. everything. Yep. So uh, black top, it's black top, and yep. uh, so uh, state of the art. Absolutely. Uh, so. I mean, you know, it's it's it was time for this department. We're the second biggest sheriff's department in the state of Illinois. Yeah, right. The second. The second. And now we have the amenities yeah. that are needed. To for it to be such be a big to, department, yeah, right, to, right. To, to, with this facility and, and everything it brings, we to the moved into the twenty first century. We sure did. Uh, a little in, late in, in, a, in, a, in a big way. <laughs> yeah. well, a little late, so, but we got there. Only t eighteen years. Yeah, so. we a little late, but we got there. Hey, hey you know, we're but, late bloomers. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, uh, that that this remarkable and and uh, and then what does that do for the morale? And, oh. and I can't, probably can't tell you. Huh? You you know what? It's <clears throat> you can see the majority of our employees, most all of our employees have smiles on their faces all the time now yeah. when they come to this place, yes. this department. They've got a nice, new, clean place. We're like yeah. Yeah. moving into a new house. New everybody's, house, new school. Yeah, everybody's happy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the, the cohesiveness and the morale and, and, and the togetherness and working as a team. And, and the sheriff's and, department was pretty darn good at it considering yeah, the old, that, yeah, but that, now right. it's, it's, it's... And the work that's getting done. Yeah. And uh, yeah. uh, you know, all that comes in, um, in, in, on to the forefront. Yep, you're and, absolutely and right. So, uh, and in the quality of the air, air to air conditioning, mm -hmm. environment control, mm -hmm. and and you know, we um, just at the last county board meeting received a check for um, sixty-three thousand right. dollars from NICOR ComEd mm -hmm. uh, that. Uh, because of the amenities that we put into this building, the the extra uh, uh, um, installation, yeah. the the better win windows and and uh, other things, and uh, so yeah, they uh, made it they made it LEED certified, LEED certified, where we, you know, yeah, we have to right. meet certain yeah. criteria, and yeah. because of that, we're we're seeing the dividends yep. of that too, yeah. and so probably saved anywhere between between sixteen or twenty thousand dollars per year. In utility costs, yep. so uh, yeah, and that's, that's huge. A, yep. That's huge yep. for that. I so, agree. Yep. So, um, so what? What other new equipment? Do you have any new oh. new equipment uh, that we 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 fitted in uh, in here? Um, well, you got three. You got three. Uh, um, cell block uh, oh, four. Uh, four. We four. have four cell. Yep. Which yeah. is which is big because yeah. You know when. If we bring, if they bring somebody in and they want to question them, um, we have a holding cell which is all video monitored, so we can watch them at all times. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, if we have someone who's in here on a suspicion of a homicide, we have the right to hold that person for 72 hours, whether we we either have to release them or charge them within that 72 hours. Mm -hmm. We now used to be in the Eagle Building when we did that. Yeah. We'd throw them in a room with a blanket and a pillow and we'd just keep an eye on them for however long we needed to do yeah. Now, we have them in this cell, they have their own bathroom, their own sink, they have a bed, a pillow, a yeah. blanket, yeah. and uh, we're watching them the whole time yeah. they're there. We're yeah. keeping eyes on them the whole time yeah. they're there. Yeah. And that, that He's is, probably on camera. Oh yeah, isn't oh, yeah. Right. and everything's Somebody video. Somebody yep. sudden and yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So that's that's something that the you know obviously the old station didn't have. Uh, that's that's huge. That, that is a very very big plus. You know, like I said, the um, 
the the new evidence storage is all electronic. Everything moves electronically. You hit a button and a file moves. You get in. We have a lift that'll lift up the deputy to go if he has to retrieve some evidence to take mm -hmm. to court for mm -hmm. to testify in. Mm -hmm. That's all electronic. That was never like that before. It was all hand cranked uh, <laughs> stuff that you had to move and uh, and with the with the drying chamber and the we have a whole separate room now for narcotics that's got exhaust fans in it so so that you know because that's Cl can climbing stuck, it can start <laughs> stinking and smelling so what'll happen is we have an exhaust a whole yeah. system, filtration system just to push that air that's climbing in there control. out of that. yeah so yeah. We, so the whole building don't smell that <laughs> yeah. so that we never had that before yeah you know um the lifts that we have in the in the um in the evidence for the cars I was telling you about, we never had that it before. Um, that's all stuff that was and programmed so, into this. So person the personnel um, handling evidence you know, is always on tape. Yes. What, no, whether yep. whether they're placing it in there yep. or somebody go in in to remove it to take it to court. And and, and those and, th those big vault rooms down there. Mm hmm. We have triple. You need you have, you need an ID to get in, you need a code to get in, and uh, sometimes on some of the doors you need th two codes to get in. We have triple credentials to even walk into those doors. So not anybody, yeah. no one can just walk in, because yeah. that's you know the whole chain of evidence. We got to keep it secure. Yeah. Can't have people just walking around in there. So I mean that's that's a, one of the big big things we have now in this building. Most every door, you need one or two credentials to get in the door, and in evidence, in some cases, you need three. So with this, this new building, you, you really brought up the um, running of, 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 of office, uh, sheriff's office, mm -hmm. that's the second largest in the yep. state of Illinois, yep. as a, um, a more professional. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Probably one of the most professional ones in the you, state of Illinois, yeah. too, now, with this new facility, it, without it, a doubt. Tom Dart, cry your eyes <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, I know um, training is a, a big factor, and uh, and now you have the capacity and the, and, uh, the uh, room to do that. So. Uh, give us a little insight on on the training program for the Will County uh, Sheriff's Department. Oh, we've we've stepped up our game considerably in training at the Sheriff's Department in the last few years, especially now with this new our new facility. We have a very large training classroom, mm -hmm. which can hold. It, the way it's set up is if we could have one large class in there with up to almost a hundred people in the class. But or there's partition walls that we can separate it and make it into three separate training classes where there's three separate, you know, different classes going mm -hmm, on at right. the same time, yeah, yeah. all for about 30 or 40 people. Um, and, you know, we sent, we recently, about a year or so ago, we, we sent our, all of our deputies to a brand new training for these active shooters like in schools and stuff like that we've every one of our deputies now has been retrained and up to date in training on situations like that wow it, yeah and it, it's it's a you know, obviously with what's going on what's trending now around the country it, it's something that we wanted to get out in front of instead of wait you know yes. until something happens yes. so so that's that's been a huge uh, training class that we sent people to um Obviously, as you probably you, you obviously know, all of our deputies in patrol are also trained on Narcan, which is that yes, that, right. that that drug that uh, uh, reverses an over, <clears throat> a heroin overdose. Mm -hmm. So that that that's all been done in the last couple of years. All too. your deputies, yeah, and they're all equipped with yeah. with the right. with the Narcan. So that's been a huge, you know. That, yeah. was, that was a huge Will training. County, your, your sheriff's department had really jumped on and, and, and um, with it uh, yep. on Narcan. And, the, and, and the, our latest, our latest piece of equipment that we purchased not too long ago is a 3D use of force simulator, and it is, it is a about a hundred inch screen, uh, 3D HD, uh, the the whole nine yards, and what it does is. We put a deputy in front of this screen, 
with all of with, with his gun belt, with his taser and his asp and his pepper spray. And what happens is we have over 800 scenarios in this system where we can, okay, deputy, you're now going to, and I'll give you this one real quick because Channel 7 News did a, did a special on this training, uh, this simulator that we have, and one of their reporters came down and we strapped a gun belt on them and we said, okay, here you go. We're gonna show you how we train, or how we're gonna start training our, our use of force. Um, so as you give him command, if you know, as you, so we sent him to an alarm. It was midnight, it was a, it was a, a warehouse and, a, and, and the alarm was going off. And a lot of times when we go to alarms, most of them are usually you know, they're false, they're alarms. false alarms. Yeah, but so this one, <clears throat> he walks into the place and he is confronted by a man, and the man is standing at a like a workshop almost, like a bench, and there's a box like right here, and he's got his right hand behind the box, and you can't see what he's doing. So he's giving this guy orders hey, let me see your hand, let me see your hand, I need to see your hand, show me your ID. And as he's given commands, there's someone behind with a mouse either escalating the situation or de-escalating the situation to see how he handles himself. Well, the first time, we sent him through the same scenario three times. The first time, uh, the, the, the guy in the warehouse came out with a gun and shot him dead right there. <laughs> the second one. Don't do that. Right. The second <laughs> one, uh, he came out. Now, now this reporter had his had his handgun and it's all it's not a real handgun obviously yeah, it's a yeah, simulator yeah, right, gun. right 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 and, and he had it out this time and the second time he came out with an id and he handed him the id well then the third time he was giving him orders he came out with a stapler and the reporter shot him he come out with a silver one of those like big staplers yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah yeah and the reporter and he, he looks over at us and he goes did i just shoot a guy with a stapler and we go, yeah. And it, this is what we're trying to teach our deputies is like, look, you need to learn. We need to be more efficient on de-escalating force when we have the opportunity to de-escalate force. It also comes with a bulletproof vest. So when the guy shoots at you, you get buzzed like a shock almost yeah. to say you've been hit. I mean, it is the state of the art equipment. And we're excited. We, we, well, we got our trainers now all trained up on how to, how to use it. And now we're going to be able to do this on shift. Now we'll be able to pull guys in on the midnight shift. And, and you know, when, when we got some extra guys and we'll be putting them through training while they're on shift. Because, you know, use of force has obviously changed in the 30 years that I've been a police officer. Yes, sir. So, definitely. And now it's, a lot of things yeah, have how many changed. Times, how many times do you see somebody getting shot when they pull out a cell phone because they thought it was a, somebody thought it was yep. a gun? Yeah. So yeah, we we've we've escalated get done it. We've escalated our training on, on the sheriff's department tremendously in the last few years because we have to we have to change with the times. That's right. You know. Well, our safety of our deputies and personnel is uh, first and foremost. Right. So and and to be be uh, right on what they're doing mm -hmm. uh, with the citizen. It, it, true. I'd rather see them make a mistake in that classroom, yeah. in that simulator, yeah. and learn from that yeah. than to make that mistake on the street. Absolutely. That's so, uh, absolutely yeah. right. Well, let's talk a little bit about one of the uh, state-of-the-art uh, issues uh, that we put in here. Um, when we were designing this, uh, you were very adamant about um, keeping the, um, the, um, the dispatch center and, and let's talk about what we got um, down, downstairs in a dispatch center. Talk about state of the art, <coughs> you're absolutely right. That 911 dispatch center, as you know, state passed the legislation that said we need to consolidate half, half of our 911 yep, yep, dispatchers yep. In, County, in dispatch centers in Will County. At that time we had six and they wanted us down to three. So, as you know, and with help from your office, obviously, and the county board, we said, look, Will County, we're building this new station. We should host this. This should be our, you know, they were talking about, remember, they were talking about going to maybe buying a new building somewhere yeah, and, right. or buying an old building and or rehabbing re it. And retrofitting and retro an old school something house and, or yeah, something like and, that. Right. And, so we brought that concept, obviously, to you and your office and to the county board and said, this only makes sense. 
for Will County with this new facility to have this 911 dispatch center in it, and and we were able to get it done. Get, get it, it done. Absolutely, get it done. And it's a funny, not a funny story, but two about I don't know if it was a two weeks, about two weeks into that 911 dispatcher being uh, dispatch center being up and functioning. We got we got sent to a burglary in progress progress out east, and the 911 dispatch sent out a message. You know, because we have 31, 31 entities that are being dispatched yeah. out of that dispatch center: mm -hmm. municipal police departments, municipal fire departments, and obviously the sheriff's department. So when they sent that message out, that someone had spotted this guy and he had ran ran into a wooded area, and we had four cars from muni surrounding municipalities surrounded that wooded area within a minute or two after we got the call and lo and behold we were able to apprehend the suspect of that burglary and his vehicle that was loaded with guns mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff wow. that he was stealing from people's houses so that's the kind of benefit that to all the citizens, rapid response. Yeah, all the citizens of Will County, no matter where they live in, if they if they're in the municipality that is involved in our dispatch center, mm -hmm. that's the kind of benefit that they can they can look forward to yeah. in years to come. Yeah, and it's unbelievable. Uh, and the issue of um, 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 coordination and and collaboration uh, that uh, we had to bring, like you said. 31 different entities, mm -hmm. um, fire departments uh, and police departments um, uh, together and make it work. Yeah, and make, yeah. Them, and make them all county employees. Yeah. Now, that was no, something else, no, remember? No, they were right, going to be a right, private, right. possibly a private entity, private business almost. Yeah. Like, and we're like, wait, this, yeah. this, let's just absorb them. You know, and like I said, we kind of brought the, the uh, project or, the, you know, the that idea to yourself, your office, and the county board, and said, this only makes sense that county should be the hub of this. And, yeah. And, and it, it's, it's... And the time it, was right. Yeah. The yeah. time was right. It, it, it didn't go out without a couple of hitches, because, oh, you know... we still, you know, yeah, we still got, got a, some hitches. We're going to yeah. have a meeting right after this yeah. here, and we, we, we still have some glitches up. Yep. But we're working them out because we sit across the table from one another and, mm -hmm. and, and talk them out. Right. So, but uh, uh, it, it, um, it's a great day for Will County, and uh, and the the idea of getting down to three P saps is uh, phenomenal. It is, and I, went, I think at our height we had 17 yep. different P saps throughout Will Man, County, yeah, I would, and that had to be manned and the and uh, the radios and all the equipment yep. and everything. Yep. and now. And three, Joliet's got one, Westcom is another one, and now this one, yeah. a new one here uh, in um, the sheriff's office. Yes, uh, it's, uh, and so, uh, and we had to bring in, we had to bring in a multitude of, um, let's say, different maybe ideas and um, people with different ideas mm -hmm. and and egos and, yep. and, and other things yep. that, and trying to, to uh, melt them into uh, one a, a unit and and like like you said we're we're getting them done it's, it's absolutely getting, getting it done and it's so, worked it's yeah, worked and yeah. i mean it, that the you're right certain leaders you know you know leadership in other places you know wasn't real yep yeah they weren't real keen on the idea we had to more or less sell to them and show them that look yeah. this is going to be work it's yeah. going to work it's work for best for your citizens work for best for all the citizens yeah, of the that, yeah that, absolutely so uh um job well done for uh, all of the people yeah, that absolutely. have been involved so right. and then and the other thing what has been the personnel we some have really shined uh, and taken uh leadership roles and helping getting this all mm -hmm. done so so that's good so um and so wrapping this up uh uh, uh sheriff um, um we got a lot to be proud of and uh and as you have said, there's uh, so many, so many things uh, that um, that we are capable of doing 
now that we weren't before and the recipients of all that is our constituency and, and, and hopefully saving lives uh, on, and uh, catching uh, sus suspects and, and whatever. So and, and, our, and, and the Sheriff's Department seriously couldn't, really couldn't be more thankful to yourself and your office and the county board for working with us to get all this accomplished really yeah you know yeah. so well that's what we're here for we're <laughs> here for we're here for to work together right. and we're here to uh, provide good government and uh, and this is uh, one of the uh, best um, uh, uh, showcases that uh, um, proves that I think we all and, can be proud of this yes and 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 the other issue is that we didn't ask for a uh, tax increase to to pay for right. for for one dime of it, uh, so right. um, we'll continue to move forward and uh, and uh, make it make it go. And so um, so, any last thoughts? No, no, I think we covered most, just about all of it. Yeah, yeah. well, it's uh, it's uh, it's good to talk about good good things. Yeah, absolutely. And, and right. So. So, 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 Sheriff Kelly, thank you so much Executive for, officer, for, what, thank for you. what you've done and then in your administration uh, and, do, and doing a top-notch job in a, in a beautiful building. Thank you.